reading. Begin with a calm, deliberate reading of the concept note. This is not merely an introduction, but an invocation, establishing the thematic framework of the performance. Acknowledging the song as both a literal and metaphorical act of survival, a means of navigating and transforming the world. As you read, let your voice carry the weight of intention, allowing each word to resonate fully. As the concept note is read, introduce subtle unconscious bodily movements, sighs and breaths and shifts in posture. These movements should be organic. A bridge that gently transitions the audience from the intellectual realm to the sensory experience of the performance. The body begins to speak before words take shape, signaling the shift from thought to action. Apology. Once the concept note is complete, pause and apologize for not having greeted the audience. This moment of humility and recognition creates a personal connection, setting the tone for an intimate and participatory experience. Greeting improvisation, turning greeting into sound and movement. Begin with a simple greeting. Let the greeting roll off your tongue with intention, its rhythm and cadence echoing within the space. Gradually start to play with the sound, repeating it, elongating it, shifting its intonation. The greeting becomes more than a word. It evolves into a melodic phrase, a note. A song. Encourage the audience to join in, inviting them to transform the greeting into a collective soundscape, layering echoes and, and harmonies and variations, allowing the sound to swell and evolve. Move from spoken word to song. The room becomes a living instrument. Each participant a note within a greater harmony. Sanbona, 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 Sanbona. As you move through the audience, greet each person with a handshake. Feel the weight and the texture of each hand and carry the trace of that touch with you to the next person. Let this guiding touch lead you from one to the next, creating a physical map of connection and community. Hold the trace of the last hand as a focal point, staring at it as if it holds worlds within it. Follow it onto the stage, where it will guide your next actions. Ritual cleansing, the trace of touch. Transfer and transformation. With your gaze fixed on the hand that holds the last trace, slowly use your other hand to remove your belt. This action should be deliberate, almost ritualistic. Once the belt is free, use it to violently whip the hand, igniting hidden impulses in the body. The sound of the belt against skin becomes a stark jarring counterpoint to the earlier harmony. Name improvisation. Names as stories. Turn to the audience and ask them their names one by one. As each name is spoken, let it resonate within you. Recognize that names are not merely labels, but containers of history. Spells that shape who we become. Vessels of hidden meaning and stories. Sanbonan. 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 S
Sanbonan, 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 Sanbo, Sanbo, Sanbobo, Sanbo, San, 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 Sanbo, 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 Sanbonan Sanbonan Sun Bonan Sun Bonan Sun Bonan Sun 
Sambonani. What is your name? Zach. 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 I want to remember your name. Zach. 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 I'm doing this because I want to remember your name. Zach. Zakata. 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 Zach. Zakaga. Zakaka. Zakata. Zach. Zakagaga, Zakagaga, Zakaria, Z, Z, Zakaria, Zakaria Zomo, Zakaria Zomo. Zakaria Zomo was my desk mate in primary school. When I look at you, I will think of Zakaria Zomo, my desk mate in primary school. Zak, Zak, Zakaga, 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 Zakata, Zekete, Zekete, Zekete. Zekete. Zekete is the name of the dance. It's a very popular dance. I don't know how to do it. It's something like this. Zekete. 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 Zek. 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 What is your name? Say that again. 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 Kunta. 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 I will not think of Kunta Kente. Kunta. Kunta. Kunta ta 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 ta. Kunta ta 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 ta. Ta 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 Kunta, 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 take, 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 kunta, take, 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 kunta, take, take, kunta, what is your name? Zekete, Zekete, kunta, take, take, Zekete, kunta, take, Lithohonono. Lithohonono is the same name as mine, but yours is in Lisu, in Sisutu. Mine is in Isizulu. Lithohonono, Ntanta, Ntanta, Lithohonono, Lithohonono, Ntanta. Ntanta, the soho no no, the soho no no, Ntanta, Ntanta, the soho no no, Sogo, 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 Sogo. The man you're sitting next to, the man you're sitting next to, he's Mr. Shope, and his claim name is Sogo Sogo. The soho no no sitting next to Sogo Sogo. The soho no no sitting next to Sogo Sogo. Inga Bayama Sogo Sogo is the name of the Zioni band. The Zioni band, they sing a song like, Hem, 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 What's your name? Gerard. 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 I think of a garage. I think of a garage, garage band, the software to make music on the computer. I don't know how to use it. Garage, garage band, garage. Hem, 
Hem shaga shaga. Hem 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 hem. That's what happens to the sound when you put it in garage band. What's your name? Ma'am. Zandi. 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 Please come here, Zandi. 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 Zandi, 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 Zandi. Zandi. I thought I would read this. I wrote it with the help of Stacy Harding to think very deep about what we are doing today. But I forgot that I can't read. Zandi, please read for me. Zandi. Zandi, Zandi. Performance text, Bad Prophet. What's your name? Scavenging the body's Say it memory. again. Again, please. I begin please. with the body. Would you like a glass the of water? The container of our deepest truth and forgotten stories. When creating, say, on the theme of love. I can't hear this. I ask my performance and to I'm sure that people can't within. hear it. Oh, do I need? put your microphone properly. All right. Thank you. Can you hear me? Oh, great. Performance text, Bad Prophet, scavenging the body's memory. I begin with the body, the container what of is our your deepest name? and truths and forgotten stories. What is your name, sir? When creating, yes, say, sir. on the theme of love, Humphrey. I ask my Humphrey. performers to locate Humphrey. love Humphrey is the name themselves. of my cousin. Not he the died. Abstract, His name is Humphrey Buddha. But the real visceral he shot someone on the bomb resides within because them. he didn't want to give him his Maybe car back. Maybe in the curve of the neck or the hollow of the knee. And he died this by the gun. This is embodiment in its purest what form. What is your name, sir? Where emotion and physicality intertwine. What's your name, sir? I invite Christoph. them to massage the spot. Humphrey Buddha. Awaken it. Buddha. Let the warmth and sensation ripple Buddha outward. Bless Allow well, movement to engage or You say Buddha bless you. I didn't process know if I'm saying it right. I didn't know if I was saying it right then. Trusting but there's the something about Buddha. I did Kung Fu for four years. What the mind four years. Overlook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, As the yeah. movement unfolds, yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen it's, it's for sound. The audible yeah, 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 expression yeah, 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 I become a scavenger, I want to remember your name. sifting through these offerings, and I think of Shazam. fragments of that reason connect and converse with each Shazam. other. Shazam, another music this software. This act of Shazam is both creative Zam, and tutorial. Zambia, piercing together Zambia, a score of human experience Zambia, from despite yet to be connected Lusaka. parts. The concept of Every the song in 1985, fascinates me. Once, when my wife smashed pop on a plate, a simple oh, yeah, meeting oh, and it triggered a well unexpected memory in me. And uh, sadness, a visceral discomfort. I didn't understand it until I buried a memory that had surfaced. As a child returning home oh, famished from school, oh, I found our shack demolished, our belongings, Azam, my several parts included, Azania, crushed Azapo, and scattered by the Azam, bulldozer. Azania, that Azapo, moment of loss Azam, and violation Azania, had imprinted itself Azapo. deep within what is your name, sir? lying dormant yes, until sir. a sensory cue brought it Sin back law. to life. Sin this law. is the power of embodied memory. 
our body's archive experiences, traumas, joys, waiting for the right moment to reveal them. Similarly, I recall my sister at four years old, defiantly swelling in church despite my grandmother's stern warnings of punishment involving fiery papers. The ensuing scene, my sister's mouth aflame, her screams, the chaos, act itself into my being. Now, the mere sight of Chile can transport me back, invoking echoes of fear, guilt, and helplessness. These memories aren't just stories. They are somatic imprints that shape how I move, react, and create. In the rehearsal room, tapping into these embodied memories becomes a source of authenticity and depth. But it's a delicate process. Engaging with personal and collective trauma requires care, respect, and intentionality. I've been criticized for not providing enough aftercare, for opening wounds without properly tending to them. This critique has pushed me to reflect on the ethics of artistic excavation, understanding that while scavenging can be transformative, it must also be healing. The process should cleanse, much like a natural scavengers do, when they purify their ecosystem by consuming decay, facilitating renewal and rebirth. The performer as a scavenger occupies a unique position within the creative process, functioning simultaneously as both an archivist and a cleanser. As an archivist, performers collect and refund fragments from their daily lived experiences and memories, treating these lived experiences as vast, ever-growing archive. This method of scavenging is about piecing together a narrative or a moment from the remnants of ordinary movements, reconciling them within the space of performance. It's a practice rooted in attentiveness, where the mundane is given new life and meaning, transformed through the lens of performance into something resonant and profound. Say your name again, please. Yet, the role of the scavenger Nelly. is not limited Nelly. to mere recollection. It extends to the acts of cleansing, just as animal scavengers do, the hyena, the vulture, in nature, clear away decay to maintain a balance of their ecosystem. Performers, in a similar manner, clear the psychic and emotional space, both for themselves and their audience. By bringing to light the buried, the forgotten, the repressed, they create a space where these elements have to be acknowledged, processed, and ultimately transformed. Tandy. This cleansing is not just Tandy a is the name of my mother. but a renewal, and in full allowing is what has Nom been Tandas. excavated to be integrated oh, into Silo. itself, the to cry. be reshaped this and is how my grandmother used into to something cry. that contributes oh. to the performer's audiences and their understanding of their own experiences. Oh. I have named this performance Bad Prophet, a play on the traditional role of the prophet oh. as one who sees deep truths and earth hidden meanings and divines oh. over new pasts and futures. Your name? My practice starts in the simple act of naming. Say it again. Names are both Victoria. containers of history and Victoria. spells that shape what we Victoria become. Falls. They are also Victoria vessels Majuda. of stories. Victoria, Victoria Majuda is the girl I the asked names out and she said no. shaped us and those are yet to come. The theoretical underpinning of the performer as a scavenger ties into border discussions she drinks of a memory, lot now. trauma, and the body as a repository of history. In this context, still my scavenging becomes a method like both of survival and creativity, oh. a way of navigating and negotiating with the past. It allows the performer to reclaim agency over their narratives, oh. to be both the keeper and the cleanser of their stories. This dual function is vital to the kind of theater I create. A oh. theater that is as much as about the process of uncovering as it is about the performance itself. Your name? The theater I make I isn't a theater of words. It's a theater of song, of sound, of movement. A theater that speaks directly to and from the body. This aligns with the phenomenological perspective that privileges lived experience. Whoa, 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 whoa
and sensory engagement of over intellectualism. By accessing the corporeal, we touch the universals and transcend cultural linguistic barriers, connecting performer and the audience through a shared human cessation. This methodology wasn't intentional from the start. I stumbled on it, quite literally, when I enrolled in a dance school while seeking music training. Say that again. Initially relaxed and resistant, I began Jacqueline. translating dance movements into sound, creating a Trampoline. personal lexicon with physical jumpy, jumpy. gestures and Jacqueline. auditory expressions coalesced. Trampoline. This jumpy, intensive jumpy. practice became jumpy, my signature. Jumpy. A Trampoline. way to explore, communicate, Trampoline. complex emotions jumpy, and jumpy. ideas beyond Trampoline. the confines of I think about the trampoline forms. next to a pool. In composition, I think about a trampoline structures like next to a pool where voices who he jumped from the trampoline into the pool rich and he hit his ankle that mirror before the performance. And the layered nature He's an idiot. It is akin to the dominant jumpy, jumpy, trampoline. One movement of sound Polina. setting off a chain reaction, Polina. leading to an unexpected Polina bought me a and PS chocolate, outcome. and it was written, "I love you." This reflects the interconnectedness of our stories. And I opened, how individual and I put it in my pocket. No, I put it in the bin. I didn't read, and I ate the chocolate. To form collective meaning. Ultimately, my work is about transformation of memories Your into art of pain into beauty, Say it again. of isolation into connection. It's a continuous act of scavenging and renewing, honoring the past while forging new pathways for understanding and expression. In this process, we don't just create performances. We embark on journeys of self-discovery and communal healing, reminding ourselves and each other of the pain, but also of the creativity inherent in black imagination. In composition, I favor structures like concomphony, where voices overlap and interweave, creating rich textured soundscapes that mirror our streets and the layered nature of our human experience. It's akin to the domino effect, one movement, one sound, setting off a chain reaction leading to an unexpected and beautiful outcomes. This reflects the interconnectedness of our stories. Our individual narratives collide and converge to form collective meaning. Okay. My work is about transformation okay. of memories into art, of pain into okay. beauty, of isolation into connection. Uh, it's a continuous act of scavenging and renewing. Bui honoring Pilo. the past while forging new pathways of understanding and expression. Bui Pilo. Through this process, we don't just Bui create Pilo. performances. Pilo talk. We embark Bui on Pilo. journeys Pilo of self-discovery and communal healing, Pilo talk. reminding Bui Pilo. ourselves and Pilo. each fight, other fight. of the pain, Pilo. but also Pilo. the creativity Pilo. Pilo. inherent Pilo. in the fight, black fight, 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 fight. The methodology has been fight, intentional fight, from the start. Fight, I stumbled on it quite literally. Fight, when fight, I enrolled fight, in a dance school while seeking music fight, training, Fight, Initially resistant, fight, I began translating dance fight, movements fight, into sounds, fight, fight, creating a personal lexicon with physical gestures and audacity accents coalesced. This synthetic practice became my signature, fight, a way to explore and communicate complex emotions, ideas beyond the fight, confines of fight, conventional forms. Fight, In composition, fight, I favor fight, structure like fight, comphony. Fight, where voices Do overlap and interweave, creating rich textured soundscapes that mirror our streets Do and the layered nature of human experience. It's akin to the domino effect, one movement of sound setting off a chain reaction, leading to an unexpected yet beautiful outcome. This reflects the interconnectedness of our stories, how individual narratives collide and converge to form collective meaning. My work is about transformation of memories into art and pain. Through this process, we don't just create community work, we embark on journeys of self-discovery, communal meaning, reminding ourselves and each other of the pain but also creativity inherent in the black imagination.